Welcome to Last Set News. My name is Rob. And today, unfortunately, we have some bad news for people who still have their crypto or funds stuck on Alameda. And it looks like Alameda and or FTX it keeps taking your crypto, which uh, is actually going to lead us to a pretty interesting question. So we'll take a look at that. Also, Solana continues to get hammered as it falls into single digits in the, over two years ago. And then also we're going to take a look uh, behind the scenes which is some good news of how crypto is growing. And then lastly, just a little uh, public service announcement on Puerto Rico residents like myself and the Sweatcoin New Year Challenge. So first things first, this is concerning. And uh, I think it's something that we really have to consider as people invest into crypto. This is an article. This came out today. Alameda wallets funnel, you know, your money, crypto also, over 1.7 million via crypto mixers. Data negates the possibility of liquidators behind the fund transfer to the use of mixing tools and extensive planning to hide transaction paths. Here's what's going on. So 30 crypto wallets linked to Alameda Research, the bankrupt sister company of uh, FTX, became active on December 28th. Today, it is the 30th of December, so just a couple of days ago. If this is following four weeks of inactivity, of course, that was when FTX uh, collapsed. These wallets swapped and mixed over $1.7 million worth of crypto through crypto services or mixing services. 24 hours later, after the 28th, they used extensive planning to hide transaction routes. And here's the route itself. And I tip my hat to the people who try to, who can put this stuff together because it is, is quite complex. But you can see how everything just starts with this MetaMask wall and everything's just kind of mixed around. And there's a curve here. You've got Uniswap over here. It uh, looks like some other ones uh, going through it, but uh, it's extensive. And that's what's gonna keep happening as they're taking your funds. Change Now is one of those uh, exchanges that spoke out against fraudulent actions, such as those connected to the wallet cases. Currently, Change Now's compliance team is working closely with investigators to detect the flow of the illegal funds, which also keep a close eye on alerts from the community on funds with suspicious trails. So just so you know, this is how it all worked. 270 and a half ETH were mixed or, or channeled through change now, which is 325,000. 800,000 USDT through fixed float, 200,000 on curve, 200,000 on air swap, 200,000 on other crypto mixing services, which leads me to the interesting question, which is this. If crypto itself is supposed to be non-regulated and we're not supposed to touch anything that's going on with it because it is a decentralized trustless platform, we take a look at what's happening here is it something to consider that really the funds that are being uh, moved through, we should really be uh, able to stop these funds that are being transferred out? Because remember, uh, you know, in the past, you know, USDC and, and Tether itself has been able to stop transactions, more so USDC, I would say. And people were all up in arms. And now we have something like this, which is your funds now. So in the old days of, of crypto, we'd be like, well, that's just crypto. And that's just it. And that's just how it goes. And now, of course, we have an interesting situation where we want to stop these things. So let me just think about that in the comments section. It's an interesting case. Now let's take a look at Solana getting hammered. Now, unfortunately, Solana is part of my bags. So this isn't my favorite topic to talk about, but uh, it is inevitable after what happened with FTX, I think. Solana price sinks to single digits in nearly two years. This is what's happening. You can see right here, not only here, but just take a look at this. The Solana price over a year, I mean, geez, 176 in January or December, 172, 176. And just in a year's time, we're down, you can see right here, 96% from its all-time high of two minutes, 96% and probably going uh, farther down. Here's what's happening. This situation has impacted the Solana Foundation, I can say. No Solana was kept in the platform as it stopped withdrawals, the foundation has said, but it lost 3.43 million FTT. Of course, a lot of these things that were coming about was all based on FTX. Sam Bankman fried had uh, really backed this project, had really been behind it. Also this one in Serum. And of course, when Sam went down, FT, uh, uh, excuse me, um, FTX went down and Sam went down. Unfortunately, this, this led to Solana going down. 135 million Serum uh, were lost, which was kept on the, uh, on the platform. 3.24 million shares of FTX trading LTV common stock. 
So that was all lost because it's all stuck on FTX. And um, who knows if that was even backed by anything? I don't think it actually was. There was also concerns that Serum had been compromised during the odd cyber attacks on FTX just before its bankruptcy. I don't think it was cyber attacks. I think it was an inside job. That's just me. Critical private keys were custodied at FTX at the time, leading developers to fork the DEX protocol to ensure its legitimacy under control of a DAO. I maybe it'll work out. Adding to Solana, adding to Solana Strife, two of its most popular Solana MT projects, D Gods and Utes. I guess I say it. This week confirmed they'd be migrating to rival blockchains, Ethereum and Polygon next year. And they actually asked Solana, like, hey, if you want us to stay, give us $5 million. And they're like, and Solana's like, no, you can go where you want to. And now they went over the, this way. I got to tell you, I would have paid the $5 million to keep them on because it just doesn't look like it isn't a good look. But I mean, that's just me. Solana Labs Cal founder Anatoly Yankovenko said this, this is a blip. It sucks, but in the end, four or five years later, barely anyone is going to remember it. I got to ask you the question, is he right? You think uh, this will be just a blip? I personally think it's going to be more than a blip and it's going to uh, go on for quite a bit of time, but who knows? Technology could be could be there. Things that, that's always concerned me is how, you know, all of a sudden, not all of a sudden, but there was times when it would go down. There's times and of course, there was he heavy congestion, even though it talks about transactions per second and how high it was. It just, it's hard to have much faith. And I will say this, though. I still think there's some more downside for Solana. I mean, again, 96% from the all-time high. Just so you know, for this year, I mean, Bitcoin, uh, we talk about that. Bitcoin's only down 77% for the year. And I still think it's going to go to 85% or lower, which would mean a Bitcoin price of 10K. And if that happens, what do you think Solana is going to be in a lot of altcoins? Let me know what you think of that. And then we'll finish up as a little bit of good news behind the scenes. This was a good article from Blockworks. And if we want to talk about the things that are happening, just remember that things are happening behind the scenes and growing. And it's not like some projects just going to blow up and we're going to have, you know, 100x or 1000x. These are the things that must happen behind the scenes. And here's what I'm talking about. So Singaporean based crypto trading firm Amber Group closed a 300 million Series C led by Fenbushi Capital. So there's some people who still believe in crypto and they've got a lot of money behind them. Prior to the collapse of FTX, Amber was in the process of completing an extension to our Series B plus at a three billion valuation and prep for a prolonged crypto winter. Post the FTX collapse, we paused after a partial closing and instead moved forward on a Series C. So all these Series C fundings is, is, is just it goes from the, the seed round to venture capitalists to more money, more money, more money. And they're just looking to shore themselves up. And I got to tell you, it's positive for me if you got some pretty smart investors out there. I don't know if they're big money or smart money. They are big money. And they're throwing it into these crypto projects. I take a look at that and see it's a bullish sentiment in the long term. Amber Group had less than 10% of its capital in FTX prior to the collapse. That's good. It did lay off 300 staff at the start of the month. That's also good. If you want to be lean and actually make the brand market, you have to do these things. Roughly 40% of its workforce and terminated sponsorships deals with Chelsea football. Amber said the fresh round of funding will help us focus serving institutional and high net worth clients. I think that's where the big money is. Another fund rise or fundraise was by Aztec Network, an Ethereum security layer geared towards privacy. I like this. Aztec's $100 million Series B was led by prominent venture capitalist Andreessen Horowitz, A16Z with A Capital, King River, and Variant. Incoming cash will be used to develop its blockchain encryption and architecture, which will allow users to verify that blockchain rules were followed correctly without revealing under, any underlying information. Again, all about privacy. And the third largest one was Fleek. It secured a 25 million Series A led by Polychain Capital. Interesting. Also, honorable mentions are Nilion, a blockchainless, a blockchain less decentralized file storage network nabbing 20 million in its latest funding tax and accounting software bitwave 15 million and block native web3 infrastructure and one thing about nilion it looks I've, I've had some friends here in puerto rico talk to me about this one they are venture capitalists and they've uh, made this very interesting about nilion I'm, i've kind of dismissed it but it, it keeps coming up so if this looks like something interesting i'll cover it but uh, right now it's just a blip on the radar let me just think about that in the comment section and lastly let's finish up with a little per a little uh, 
public service announcement, excuse me, for Puerto Rican residents like myself. So look, if you are Act 60, just know that today is the, the final day that you have to give donations uh, to keep that Act 60 today. So you're looking at uh, $5,000 for, and it could be any, any donation as long as it is a um, 1101.01A2 in Puerto Rico. Uh, as far as uh, the tax filing. And good news, Protechos is one of those. Uh, I've visited them. I talked to them. I've seen their operation. They are legitimate. They are, they are building roofs for people who do not have roofs. You think you got it tough? Well, try living without a roof. So with Protechos, they do that pro bono for free, and they need people like us to donate to them. So I've just donated 5000 to them today. On top of that, the other 5000 or $10,000 total, has to come from this list. This is from the Comisión Especial Conjunto de Fondos Legislativos para Impacto, para Impacto Comunitario. I'm going to leave this link in there, and it's uh, 13 pages of which you can choose which one that you can uh, donate to. Again, 5000 has to go. It can be anybody as long as it's 1101, and, and another 5000 has to come from this list. Both of those are links in the description, and that is it. And then finally, here's some awesome, awesome good news. You want to get in shape? We'll start walking. So I'm going to incentivize everybody to do so. There's this app. It's called Sweatcoin. There's a link in the description. You can check it out. It's free. And all you got to do is walk and you're in Sweatcoins. I'm going to be giving away the top 30 people on the leaderboard. It tracks everything. And, 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 and we can see the leaderboard. It's very simple. And the people who are in the top 30 are going to win prizes, such as <laughs> we're going to be giving over 5,000 Sweatcoins, Ledger Nano, Lifetime Access Token Metrics, we're we'll going to be giving 10 coin ledgers, a couple of Arculuses, meld tokens, uh, shield folio, ladies, 10 sets, uh, premier uh, tier for uh, investments, and then also I trust Capital Yeti and Art. All these things will be given away from January 1st to January 31st. Just sign up. I'll give you more details. That will be the link uh, you can find also in the description. That's it for today. So look, interesting day for uh, news again. I know it doesn't seem like uh, things are moving and it's not going to seem like it for a while because it's going to grind sideways or maybe even fall down, but better days are coming. Just stick around. Anyhow, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing while we talk about our time sensitive, like things we talked about. That's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you and I'll see you on the next one.